Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class and of course in this episode we are going to be looking at types of acids right uh, in the previous episode from introduction into acid bases and salts we saw the definitions of acids and bases by Svante Arrhenius by Johannes Bronsted and Thomas Lowry and we saw the last episode Gibbert and Lewis right so please if you have not watched any of this episode you have no business here please go to those episodes and uh, to the previous episode before now to the previous TD episode before now and watch them and join us in this class weekly. All right, please uh we're going to for the sake of time begin immediately types of acids. So acids can be organic or inorganic. All right, so acid can be organic or what inorganic. All right, so before I continue, know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by O3 Schools Jump App. It is all you need to succeed in your exam, right? It's an application that has all the past questions you need for all subjects, right? It has a practice mode, it has an exam mode, it has a mock mode, right? Just take any mode, there's, there's a study mode, just take any mode and what and practice. All right, there's also a UTME challenge. That challenge is participated by every jump student taking exam for this year. Right, so you participate to win prizes and you participate also to see your score weekly. So as you participate in those challenges weekly, you are seeing your score, you are seeing your weak areas, you are improving on it. So the app helps you in a lot of regards. So do not joke with it. Activation is 3,000 Naira as opposed to 2,500 Naira in the previous year. Right, so please make sure you jump on the app, download it, activate it, and what practice your way to success. Now let's let, join me back as we continue. So I said there are what organic acids and what inorganic acids. Organic acid occur naturally, right? Organic acids what occur naturally. Why inorganic acids are synthesized? They are synthesized by man from inorganic matter. All right. So organic acids are acids that occur naturally. They occur naturally. Right? Why inorganic acids are what are synthesized by man from what from inorganic what matter? So organic acids, like I said, they are, they are occur, occurring naturally. That you can see them from fruits, can see them from uh, from vinegar, can get can get them from plants, self, and so on and so forth. All right, but inorganic acid they have to be synthesized by man from what from inorganic what matter. So let's see examples of inorganic acid. Example of inorganic acid are the one we have H two S O four. It's an inorganic acid. HCl, the adductoric acid, is an inorganic acid. HNO3 is an inorganic acid. HNO2 is an inorganic acid. H3PO4 is an inorganic acid. Also, HClO4. All these ones are all inorganic acids, right? They are synthesized by man from inorganic matter. So we get them through synthesis by man from inorganic matter. So just Note them now for the organic acids and their sources. Let's quickly see or, uh, uh, organic acids and their sources. Uh, the video, this video, like I said, will not be too long. Please make sure you have liked this video. Just click on that like button below this video, right? Then liking the video makes other students like you to see this video easily and learn from it. Also, just at the way you are learning right now. Also, you can also subscribe to this channel, subscription is free. F R O E E. You are not paying to subscribe to this channel, right? Subscription is so that once we release a new video, bam, right? You get a notification on your phone that all three schools has published a new video. It's a benefit to you, right? It helps us grow, but it's a benefit to you so that you do not, you do, you do, you don't get slack. So anytime we release a new video, you already know where you, you watch it. You are following us and you are progressing with us. All right? Let's continue, right? Um. Now, organic acids and their what and their sources. So now we have what organic acids. All right, then we have the formula. Let's say the sources. All right, so I'm going to be looking at them in this regard to make everything easy. All right, so we have organic acids here, we have their formula, right? We have what their sources. Now, the first one I'm going to see is lactic acid, number one lactic acid so from the name we already know that it's gotten from what from milk right so it has a formula of c3 h6o3 all right so that is lactic acid it is what it is an organic acid it's gotten from what from milk from milk and this is the word this is the formula all right now number two 
You look at what citric acid. Citric what acid? Citric acid is gotten from lime or lemon. From lime or lemon. From lime or from lemon. Right? It has a chemical formula of C six H eight O seven. All right. So this is what citric acid. Chemical formula C six H eight O seven. Right, it's getting from gotten from from lime or what from lemon. All right. So number three, I'm going to see is ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is gotten from vinegar. All right. It has the chemical formula CH three COO CH three COOH. All right. So this is what uh ethanoic what acid ch 3 cooh that is the formula and it's gotten from what from vinegar all right you have to be knowing their sources as in the, in the typical exam question may be asked lactic acid is gotten from which are the following a uh, from proteins b from milk c from vinegar d from maybe ants or nettles so you may just get confused so please make sure you know their sources these are organic acid these are their sources let's see another one number four we have what abscorbic Abscorbic acid. All right. This one is gotten from what? From oranges. All right. And it has a chemical formula of C6H8O6. All right. So this is the chemical formula of abscorbic acid. It's gotten from what? From oranges. All right. Now uh, let's go to another one, of course. Then number five. We we'll now go to formic acid. Formic acid. Formic acid is gotten from ants. Ants or nettles. But I know what ants are, right? Right. But for nettles, of course, they are flowering plants. They are flowering plants that have a stinging hair. Stinging hairs. They have stinging hairs. Alright. So they are, they, 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 they are a source of what of formic acid. Alright. So also ants and what are nettles. Ants and nettles, they are source of what formic acid, and of course. Uh, they're, they're, like I said, the nettles are what are flowering plants. I was thinking, I know a lot of you are waiting for biology video. Don't worry, we <laughs> will get to biology very soon. All right, so uh, the chemical formula of formic acid is HCO2H. Very simple. All right, now let's go to uh, the sixth one amino acids. Amino acids. Amino acids are gotten from protein. I got it from protein. All right. So that's amino acid. They have a general formula of R C H. Okay, R C H N H2 C O O H. All right. So that is the chemical formula, the general formula, right? Of R C H N H2 C O O H. Where this arrow can be either an um, an alkyl an alkyl group or an aryl group. So when we get to organic chemistry, we are going to we'll talk about all these groups. All right. So this is the chemical formula for what? For uh for amino acids. Then number seven, of course, will be fatty acids and fatty acids. Fatty acids are gotten from from the fat from the word fatty. They are going from fats and oils. Fats and oils. All right. And of course, they have a general formula of H C H two. Oh, CH2, sorry, there's N here, and then COOH. All right, so this is the chemical form, general formula for what? For fatty acids. All right, so these are all, all organic, um, they are all organic acids, and they are what? These are their sources. Organic acid, lactic acid is from milk, all right? Uh, citric is from lime or lemon. Some people really con confuse citric with ascorbic. All right, so ascorbic, that vitamin C is from ascorbic acid. All right, it's not from it's not from citric acid. So uh, citric acid, uh, you get them from lime or lemon. Uh, ethanoic acid, you get them from vinegar. Right? Ascorbic, uh, the one we call vitamin C. Did I clean it? So that is uh, v vitamin C. We got we, they are getting from getting from oranges, and of course formic acid HCO two uh, H is from ants or nettles. Where amino acids is from protein and fatty acids. I got them from fats and oils. All right, now 
I will know this now. Another important thing we need to know is the difference between a strong acid and a, and a weak acid, a strong base and a weak base. All right. So let us quickly just look at that. Please, if you have not liked this video, please, that thing you are doing is wrong. Please just click on the like button just below this video. Then subscribe so that what you can get notification once we release a new video. Do not forget to also share this video to your friends and families. It will help them that are preparing for different exams. Jam why they are useful, right? So now let's see a strong acid. A strong acid is one that readily ionizes or almost completely that readily ionizes that readily or almost completely ionizes in water so a strong acid will work with we readily we almost completely ionize in water right so that's the strong acid maybe as what which of the following is a strong acid what is a strong acid a strong acid is one that readily ionizes in what in water right so a weak acid in the on the other hand a weak acid right is one that partially ionizes in water it does not ionize completely it only ionizes what partially right then of course a strong base too a strong base is one that readily also ionizes in water all right that it that, oh, that that readily ionizes water that's a strong base then also a weak base a weak base ionizes partially too all right, so you need to know this. So this is different between a strong base, a strong acid, and a weak acid. A strong base and a weak base. A strong base is one that readily, all, almost completely ionizes in water, while a weak acid is one that partially ionizes in water. A strong base is one that readily ionizes in water, also, while a weak base ionizes only partially too. So this does the difference between a strong base and what and a strong acid and a weak base and a weak acid all right so this is where i'm going to end this class so i'll see you in the next episode keep watching and keep sharing thanks for watching